This is uh, this guitar is actually Larry's guitar, the uh, camera maestro here. <laughs> you haven't seen him yet, but he's back there. <laughs> and uh, it was made in 2001, and uh, it's made out of koa, Hawaiian koa, on the back and sides. And this this is uh, I have some huge planks of this over there. I actually helped saw this log up in Hawaii and was able to select the prime center cuts that are all worse on and uh, lifetime supply well over <laughs> and uh, this also this has a German spruce top or a European spruce sometimes you're not exactly sure which part of Europe they're from uh, it's uh, now Larry takes uh, lessons and has been since I've known him <laughs> Neil Hogan here in Los Gatos who you all probably know about. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, yeah, it has one of my signature rosettes and just my typical standard purflings and rosewood binding, uh, ebony fingerboard and uh, bridge. And uh, it's a little dirty, but other than that, it's in perfect structural health. <laughs> well, it's come back to it's come back to its maker. It's going to get polished up. It's a trade for the uh, camera work. <laughs> So l let me tell you a little bit about the, the, this guitar. I uh, I'd been taking lessons uh, with Neil for a long time, and I I had actually bought my first good uh, acoustic guitar. I had a Loudon. It's made in um, in Ireland, and uh, Neil had the shop at that time, and uh, I I came to to my lesson, and Neil goes. Do you want to play a nice guitar? And I, I picked it up, I played it, and that was it. I bought it. He bought it, and his wife left him the next day. <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, it's an interesting story there. Uh, I had to sort of, sort of sneak it in the house. <laughs> I hear that a lot, believe me. <laughs> but I, I, I have to tell you, every time I take this guitar out of the case, it brings. Uh, brings a smile. I just love playing it. Well, you know, that's very gratifying to hear. Makes me, uh... Here, we're actually live here. It's actually not a call. That's my text, that's my text message. Call. My text message, I think. Um, tell us, uh, you know, just uh, some of the details of uh, the neck and the headstock and the, well, yeah, the, the tuners uh, and the frets used. Okay, these are uh, just uh, German Schaller tuners, Japanese <coughs> fret wire. It's the best. It fits the slot better than any other fret wire that I'm aware of. Uh, and uh, the neck is, I always use a, a one-piece solid mahogany neck that's always quarter sawn. And this is genuine Honduran mahogany that's, you know, been sitting around here for, for years. And uh, it's very stable, just great, the best neck wood for guitars, steel string guitars. And uh, this guitar has an adjustable two-way uh, truss rod in it, and you can uh, remove uh, bow from the neck that uh, happens when the string tension pulls on the neck or if you want you can actually add some more relief in the neck if you like which is pretty rare but uh, <clears throat> so it's, it's fully adjustable and uh, it's an old traditional style rod more like Gibson used to use and it's not a double rod which is what probably most people use this day but then you have twice the weight of the steel bar in the neck and it just you know, can make your guitar kind of neck heavy. And these work better too. I've used every truss rod available. These are the best. And I, I, I know the machine is here locally. Oh. The um, so you have them made here? Yeah, yeah. And I have my all my bridge pins made here uh, by Tim Lynch, who's a, an amateur guitar maker and a world class machinist. And he makes ivory and bone uh, material, nut and saddles and uh, he needs some beautiful material, and I can, you know, any wood I want, he's, you know, just nearby, it's very easy to get custom-made pins, and uh, buy, uh, you know, really first-rate workmen. 
Talk, talk about the binding on the neck. Well, the binding on the neck, you can't see this on uh, ebony neck, really, because um, it's the same, wood, same color as the fingerboard. But uh, the frets have a little tang that, that goes down below the fret. It goes into the neck. It's about a uh, takes about a twenty three thousand inch slot for that uh, fret tank to seat properly in. And uh, a reason to to put binding on that is you can notch back the fret end and then uh, cap it with the binding, so you don't see the fret end sticking down. And it makes it a lot uh, less work when you refret a guitar that way because you don't have little voids under the fret slot. And you have to fill them with some kind of filler, and it takes a while to do it. And I know this I, way, you just not a problem. Yeah. And I've, I've looked at that as close as I can, and I can't even see you can't, the joint. No, you can't. Not when it's black ebony, you can't tell. And I, I always use, you know, these other two guitars will have, uh, 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 and they have uh, Pernambuco binding here, and the binding on the fingerboard and around the headstock will be Pernambuco too. On this uh, fret wire, um, have you found it to be really consistent from shipment to shipment? Yeah, it's, it's just so consistent, and it's uh, most other fret wires. They're too fat for your average slot, which is kind of an industry standard thickness or width. And a uh, problem you have is uh, when you put the frets in, it can really bow the neck back. And I fret the necks before they go into the guitar. And if your fret tangs are too tight for the slot, it will cause this section of the free floating fingerboard to really bow back and go down. And I've seen guitars, uh, when the neck was clamped down, there was so much pressure it would actually crack the, the glue lines in the rosette. And this tremendous pressure down and this, this fret wire is the only wire that, that doesn't do that to my knowledge. <laughs> yeah. well, they never come out either. They're just the perfect fit. So. Well, One uh, for the Japanese there. <laughs> I, I could never uh, I can never tell you uh, how much I enjoy this guitar. Well, so thank you. Thanks a lot. Ed. It makes, gives me a reason to live <laughs> to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> thanks a lot.